In this video, we are going to complete the user interface design for our auto object extractor or block extractor. So let us resize the form accordingly. It's just about right. And let us set the properties for the form. So the first one is the start position. We'll make it at the center. And for the topmost, we'll make it a true so that it's always uh, on top of the drawing files rather than behind the AutoCAD window. And also we're going to make sure that the maximize box is set to false so that the user won't be able to maximize it. And finally, the, the form border control. Currently, it's set to sizable. This is the default value where the user can resize the form. But we will try to avoid that. And this time, we'll make it a fixed uh, 3D. So it has this kind of uh, how do you describe this? A concave uh, layout. So now we are ready to put in some controls. So if you don't see the toolbox, all you have to do is go to View and Toolbox. Now we have here all the controls available for us. So let's uh, drag two containers. This is the one. This will store all the, the drawing related controls to browse and display the drawing files. And the other one is this just for the, the block name. All right, so since we are not interacting with this uh, group box in our code, we don't necessarily need to rename it accordingly. So next one is let us drag a label control and a text box control and a button control. So you can uh, drag any control you want at first then just rename later on accordingly so that's what we're going to do in this project so next we will be dragging the check list box control and now the check box control Okay, so let's uh, polish our code here first. For the group uh, box one, we don't need to provide any text there. All we need is the, the boundary. And so with the group box two, and for the label one, we just uh, provide the user with the guidance to uh, select or enter the drawing path. And for this uh, text, uh, text box control let's call this as uh, txt path this will be the folder location and we will provide a default value so in my case i have some drawings in the temp dwgs folder i just put it there so that when the form loads it just loads right away and for this button here, this will be our browse button. Browse dot dot dot. And let's call this as btn browse folder. 
and the checklist box let's call this as chk lst dwgs and for this uh, checkbox control we will call this as chk uh, select all all right and the text would be select all okay so we are done with the first part now for the the block control we'll drag one label and one the text box so this will be oops this is uh, enter block name to extract and we will call this as txt block name txt block name and now we we'll just have to add another label for the information and let's call this as lbl info with a text initial text of uh, info or process info info all right and finally the button controls the first one is the process block extraction and the other one is the cancel button so let's just resize this and uh, text would be process block extraction and we call this as btn uh, process or btn extract blocks and this one will be btn cancel and the text would be cancel okay and of course we'll just uh, change the the font style i mean the the font bold to true and uh, for color leave it black but the back color would be uh, orange this one here and for our uh, process block extraction button let's change the color to dark navy and the four color to white okay and the font bold to true all right let's just enlarge this a little bit oops too high you can adjust the size here also let's say uh, 200 by 100 Oop, what did they no that's too much 200 by 10 i mean uh, 40 and this one will be 80 by 40 i think 40 is too much make it 35 all right so now we have our form in the next video we are going to do the coding on this form so i'll see you there